Hello Captains! Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam and this is Prepared version 4.3. So, right now we are in Las Vegas City. And just off in the distance there you can see we have uh, the airport of Las Vegas and mountains in the background which are being given to us by lovely FS Global. The, the airport itself, I believe, is a combination of the default uh, prepared airport and the Rex Airport HD. And just spinning around here, uh, the markings, I can see a couple of black boxes, but uh, there's the city of Vegas. And that has been brought to us by the default prepared 3D, uh, prepared, sorry, uh, version 4 and Orbex Global Base. So Orbex Global Base has replaced all the land class textures, but the buildings themselves are what Prepared is giving us. Which, to be honest, doesn't look too bad. It looks okay. Um, there's a few buildings I can see uh, as well that are from Rex Airport HD. So, uh, the reason I've come to Las Vegas is because I've got a few add-ons that I want to add in. You see, there's these two buildings here, uh, and that one there, which is Rex Airport HD, and um, the uh, the runway textures and everything else. But, there, say, the other uh, add-ons that I've got are... Oh, hello, black boxes, what are they for? Um, looks like textures haven't loaded there for some reason. We'll check it out. Uh, textures there look fine, that's Orbex Global, so I think what we need to do is get into the plane for now, and, and we'll get this sucker in the air, and I'll tell you uh, the add-ons that I've got planned for this area. So, uh, oh, what's happened here now? Right, engines just died on me for some reason, okay, let's, uh, let's go see what's happened here now. Uh, Quadrant is there, and that one is. Excuse me. Uh, that one is the mixture and propeller, so that's not even this one. Let's go to the other one. Uh, the other one is here, and that's throttled. Okay, that's fine. So we should. No. Oh, my throttle. That's my throttle, but it's assigned to my mixture. My throttle quadrants have swapped over for some reason. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to manually do the throttle. Here we go. Okay, so uh, that's that. And I'm going to have to... Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Where's the parking brake? Park and brakes don't work. There it is. Okay, park and brake set. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to just manually fly this and I'll sort the controls out later. So, getting a sort of 25 to 30 frames per second here, it seems. Um, now, the add ons I've got for the future of. Uh, let me just make sure everything works here. Does my controls work? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So, the reason um, I've got, um, we're taking off in Las Vegas is uh, this is default sort of an Orbex base global base. I've also got uh, Aerosoft's Las Vegas X for the city and I've got Mega Scenery uh, their Las Vegas Ultra Res. So we, uh, we, we've got kind of a collection of add-ons for this little small area. Now the airport itself looks pretty okay from the, here. We've got the buildings uh, the textures, I don't know why them textures are on the floor like that, that's a bit weird. Um, and then we've got the Orbex uh, buildings off to the side here, which have got black box textures on them, I don't understand that. But, it, you know, it looks it looks okay, it's a bare bones airport, okay? So remember that, because I've also got Dream Team's airport for, um, I think it's called Macquarie, which is what this airport is. Um, so I'm going to load that in on top of Las Vegas X from Aerosoft, which is going to sit on top of the Las Vegas mesh for the Ultra Res City. So 
it's going to be interesting. Now, I say we're getting about 25 to 30 frames per second here. Uh, lovely mountains in the background from FS Global. Absolutely loving them. Um, it's uh, it's looking okay here, you know. So we're just going to fly around for a bit, and uh, I'll sort of go through now. The Aerosoft Las Vegas X says that um, it also covers areas of interest like the Grand Canyon. So this is going to be a two-part video. What I'm going to do is, uh, in a moment, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to load up the Grand Canyon and we're going to have a quick flight around the Grand Canyon. And then uh, we're then in the second part of this video, so this is going to be a trilogy of videos, in the second video we're going to fly this exact same route in Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon when I've put in mega scenery. will hover over the city here when I put in mega scenery the ultra res version of Las Vegas so as you can see here we have buildings they look fantastic well they look okay to be honest let's 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 face it they're they're just okay they're they're what p3d has given us and you know just looking out into the horizon of Las Vegas the mood there's a there's not every single building detailed but it's a collection of buildings and what the textures we see on the ground are just as a mishmash of Orbex global base and what they have given us. So um, it'll be interesting to see what Mega Scenery Ultra Res Las Vegas will do. And in the second video, I'll fly this same route and we'll see what this looks like from that uh, angle, from, from that uh, Mega Scenery texturing and then in the third and then we'll go to the Grand Canyon as well well actually no we won't go to the Grand Canyon we'll just do Las Vegas sorry and then in the third video I'm going to install um, the Las Vegas X scenery and the airport actually no you know what we're gonna scratch this uh, we're gonna do the Grand Canyon in a moment I'm gonna pause the sim just turn to the right I think here and then we'll pause the sim and then I'm going to go and install uh, Las Vegas Ultra Red City, okay? After we've flown the Grand Canyon. So in the second video, we'll come to Las Vegas and then we'll have a quick flight around Las Vegas with Ultra Res installed. And I'll pause the video, I'll install Las Vegas X, and we'll take off again and see how it's meshed in and how that looks. And in the second, in the third video, we will, no, in the second half of that video, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the ultra, the uh, Las Vegas X city looks like. And then, in, and then I'll go away and I'll install uh, the airport by FS Stream Team. And then we'll come back and we'll see in the third video what that looks like. So, I'm going to pause the video here and... We shall see what we can see. Um, so I'll see you all later, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, captains. Okay, welcome back to part two of the video where we are in the Grand Canyon, where we usually uh, take off from. And as you can see, nothing but beautiful mega scenery as far as the eye can see. So let's hop into our little aircraft here. And ooh, get in, and we will take this sucker off and head over to the Grand Canyon. Now, um, I've got to, I've got to make, I've got to own up here, okay? As I said in that video, uh, we, we were in Las Vegas. Um, I've got. Uh, are we heading in the right direction? No, we're not. Uh, the left. To, hey, we're gonna crash and burn. Okay, left turn. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What's going on? Okay, uh, careful, God, we're skimming the ground here. Has everybody got their life insurance in tow? Because um, uh, you're going to need it uh, when I'm at the controls here. Okay, we need to get some altitude here, and we're on the heading, that's correct, but we do need some altitude, but we also need some power. There we go. Lean that mixture out a bit. 
Okay, so that'll get us going. Right, as I was saying, Las Vegas, right? Um, so I've got three different add-ons for the city of Las Vegas. I've got uh, Mega Sceneries Las Vegas Ultra Res, which provides 50 centimeters uh, of me uh, texture resolution uh, to cover the mesh. Um, I, you know, I don't understand. I'll address that in a second. Uh, to cover the texture of the mesh, and and that's for the entire city of uh, Las Vegas, and it also covers, I believe, the airports as well. I've also got a, uh, a Grand Canyon Airport photo aligned add-on that I just put in, so all the uh, the uh, the airports at their correct elevation. Um, I believe we need to head over here though, because that was the one that we used the other time. Uh, no, it was this one here. Um, so uh, that's the first add-on, right? Then I've also got a add-on um, from Aerosoft called Las Vegas X, and that basically is the city of Las Vegas with the strip and the airports in there as well, but not like like properly detailed airports. Just it replaces the you know they're high definition textures which basically we've already got with Rex so it's like they're pretty much going to be of a similar quality just they're probably going to look a little different um, and in fact I'll probably just reinstall Rex afterwards anyway because they probably won't be that look that great looking anyway um, but the city of Las Vegas as we saw in the first part of this video should look really cool then I've got from Dreswick Design I think it is Dreswick Design. No, it's FS Dream Team, sorry. The Las Vegas uh, airport that we took off from. So that's even in a higher detail. Now, there are supposedly some conflicts with the scenery, and we'll see what they are when we load up the sim. So, uh, I've noticed... Uh, so that's basically what we're doing. So video one, which is this one, part one, is the, we fly over... Las Vegas, which we did earlier, and now the Grand Canyon, because uh, Aerosoft say that they also have mesh for the Grand Canyon, and I want to see what the difference is. So we're flying over the Grand Canyon now to see what the mesh resolution is for um, from FS Global, which is what is here in the distance we can see. FS Global is doing the mesh terrain. Um, and I want to see what the difference is between that and what um, Aerosoft will do. Because if Aerosoft is better, we'll keep that. But if this is better, we'll keep this. Uh, the textures for this as well is Mega Scenery. I've got Ultra Reds for the Grand Canyon. Now, one thing I've noticed, for some reason, and I don't know why, this has started to stutter. You can just see a little micro stutter every now and again. And the textures are loading in super slowly see I don't know why this is now um, it's got to be see there the stutters it's uh, I, I don't think it's because I'm recording uh, the video I'm sure it happens anyway and then there's the textures coming in a little bit late um, I don't know why this is I've got to look into it it could be because I've recently put in Nvidia in inspector and maybe the settings just aren't you know um, happening with it you know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the nvidia inspector settings for when we go back in the second video just to see if that stuttering is still there and if it's still there then well it can't be nvidia inspector it must be something else at fault so um frames are like 60 frames per second so really there should be no stuttering but it could just be a v-sync in fact we can test this now actually it could be a v-sync problem so I could need, probably need to turn uh, V-Sync on and uh, triple buffering. Let's see if that does anything. Uh, it doesn't really reduce the frames. They s still are at a 60, but it still is uh, stuttering there. Textures are loading in perhaps a little bit faster. Let's remove the uh, triple buffering. Although it does say, may increase performance, so, I don't know, uh, nope, 
stuttering is still in effect. Frames haven't taken a hit anyway. So uh, let's do. Let's try this. Let's take off VSync. And uh, there we got that. That's all cool and good. Uh, Autogen vegetate. No, there was a. That's too dense. There was one of these I wanted to put to medium. Normal. There we go. Just normal. Let's try that on normal. See what happens. Oh, it's got to load it. Anyway, okay. Well, um, this might take a while. I don't know. Might not. But um, we will stop the video here anyway. And I will pick it back up once I've installed uh, New York Ultra Res. Uh, for the second part two video of this, we will head back to Las Vegas and see what mega scenery do to Las Vegas. So thanks for watching this one. And um, we shall see what the Grand Canyon looks like once this is loaded up in the third video. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.